F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend request reviews with friends request friends to watch Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 2, titled. Yorichi type zero. I don't think we've heard that word yet in this series, so I don't know what the hell it means. I mean, they in the swordsmith village, so maybe it's a type of sword technique or a style of sword. I don't know, but y'all already know how Demon Slayer has been treating us. It's fucking the greatest anime in the past decade, probably even longer for some. Um... But I'm ready. Whatever they got for us, I'm ready. How you feeling over there, Bralit? I'm feeling great, man. Demon Slayer is a slice of heaven. So listen, man. I'm I'm, I'm ready, man. I I don't I don't know what to expect. You know, obviously we we still have our our theories out there. What what might be true, what might not. Mm -hmm. I want to know what really this dude uh, number one has to do with with uh, Tanji. That's what I'm really like, I want to know. That's what the main thing, at least, for me. So, man, let's get it, man. I'm ready. Hey, look, he ready. I'm ready. I know y'all ready. So, we ain't going to hold you any longer. We just going to fly right in. Y'all know what to do with the videos. Go ahead, drop your likes. Make sure you comment down below. Let us know how y'all feel about Demon Slayer. Most importantly, subscribe. The goal is 10K. Click the button. Click the bell. Get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Oh. I gotta pull out my Inosuke mask and shit again. That's like, facts. Trying to, That's facts. Trying to get. Well, when it's he come back, time though, it's well, about to get hot. He going like. for now. Well, when he come back, he was in last episode. I mean, he was he he, he dipped though. He, he dipped. telling Tanji to wake his weak ass up. <laughs> Look at that nigga face. Mm. Oh, slap shit. <laughs> they hit it with the judo chop. Mm, is that like a puppet? Fool got six arms. Mm, hold up, my volume hella loud. I gotta yeah, turn this down. Acting brand new, he don't remember. Yeah, He's trying probably, to say these niggas insignificant. It's probably been a minute. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> nah, that the master told them niggas, you ever run into Tangi and his sister, you obey. I guess. give them niggas a kiss on their shoe and allow them niggas to train. Oh man, I thought I thought it was you know it was clear, but obviously it's not. So. Yeah, you seen the the fucking puppet or whatever that nigga was? I, to be honest, I didn't get a clear vision of him. It looked like them puppets from Naruto. The dude, the um, I can't remember that nigga name who had the fucking puppets. Oh yeah, 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 puppet. yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. That shit has six arms and shit. Mmm. Mmm. Looks like we see what demons we fighting. Yep. Ooh. 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 Man. I'm about to close my eyes, nigga. Hold up. <laughs> they showing some shit. They are. They are. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Oh, that nigga had this shorty. <laughs> I closed my eyes. Ah, <laughs> nigga, keep them closed. Don't open them shits, nigga. I should have did, did it, too. It's too late. 
I'm glue. I'm glue. I'm close. As soon as you said that, I was oh. like, you know, I'm closing my eyes, too. I don't want to see it. Bro, that audio, that audio always made me feel like the episode just cuts off. Like, All right. Huh? He said he took a... Oh. So it was a puppet. Kuminga <laughs> he said there's facts behind it, but no moral fucking yep. well being. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. You gonna make your own? You don't know how to do that. Same way the niggas, the cleanup crew, the yep. Kakushi or whatever they call it, they got their place too. Wow, I don't want to be listening to your boring speech. Damn. Mm, Judo them. chop. Bro, that's how Kilua was chopping niggas in the tower. Like. That's just. <laughs> I was gonna say, won't that buddy they look? I, just, I can't remember that damn name. <laughs> I mean, exactly. That's Tanji, man. You ain't get to see his his spirit world. Mm. でも、どうしてそれを柱が。あれは特別なんです。あの yeah, that's what he said. He wanted to train with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we get to see him. See him work a little bit. And it looks like one of them sun type users. あの人形の原型となったのは、うん。腕を6本に仕掛ければ、その剣士の動きを再現できなかった。Damn, 
Mm. I mean, he did say the doll was built by his ancestors. It's a special doll, man. Mm. So he don't want nobody to break that shit. Okay. That, that's his purpose in life. He needs it. You talented too, Brad. Don't let that. <laughs> mm. I'll be forgetting about these damn crows. <laughs> so he's a descendant of the sun bearer as well, though. But ain't he the wind, Hashira? I don't, I don't know what. What type he is? Damn! Got the whole chi. I'm like, bro, how you? I thought you said that last episode. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, so that might not be his father. Oh, who, the demon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's for sure not his father. Niggas was just hype. <laughs> I told you, I was rewatching it with my girl. And I was like, nah, that ain't his dad. It's not. Well, season one, I was rewatching season one with my girl. Oh, yeah, we definitely thought, yeah, back then, for sure. I got a cool post there, too. <笑>今ちょっと調子が悪いけれども、こっちだと思うのだけどな。ん<笑> Facts. <laughs> Hit him with the flick while he hanging one arm in the tree, but. ほかの誰かが引き継いでくれる。次に繋ぐ this little nigga gonna end up making the best sword ever in like the next couple years that helps bring down Muzin like Hmm. <laughs> hey. 
How is he always bringing out the positive in people? Oh. <laughs> this man is... Damn. He took that man arm and sword. That's fucked up. Bro, throw that fucking sword back at his ass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that crow just, yeah. <laughs> what if her and that other crow got a little something going on? That's why she, she mean a Tanjiro, like. He should have at least took that arm back. How are you going to repair that shit without the arm? Don't wind them up too much. I know, right? Fuck wrong, get your ass whipped by that nigga. <laughs> Mm, here we go. So this me, Tanjiro san. Kore de Shugo ste, Ano Smashtaka on Oksoga Kyori Motze, Tiny Tsiokuna de Kudasaine. Then you could kill this man. I think so. He wind that shit of three cranks. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay. Mm, they had to take the put, swords out of his hands. Put pillows like. in his hands, like. <laughs> the only five, exactly. Seaweed head, that's cold. You call him a pissant. <laughs> He's like, this is how I motivate. This <laughs> man said, put his head on a pike, like Game of Thrones style. He's younger than you.。This man don't know what Tanji done been through, man. That's true, he do be that nigga be lucky. Damn, no food. Come on, son. Ooh, that shit like it. That shit look like it hurt. Hey, but this is this is great training though. It's hey, great training. Bring me back. If he could, if he bring could... me back to when he ran down the mountain, like. Oh nah, ain't not like that. Bro, every training is lethal. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Whoa. 
Like to me, he's cheating. <laughs> he this man face, yo. Dude. Man, look, look, he I can't to... imagine how much Zenitsu would be crying right now if he was in this situation. <laughs> wow. He got blades on him now. This nigga passed out. <laughs> 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 this man was dizzy in the afterlife from hunger. That's how hungry he is. He can't even starve to death. <laughs> Yo, what is happening? <clears throat> That's the blood trickling down your body right now from that doll. He's <laughs> explaining this in full detail. Like. <laughs> He could smell his strike points? Mmm, that's crazy. Mmm. Oh. That's a wild attack. If you miss that, you done. <laughs> Pickled plums. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now he got a little bit of energy from eating. He ain't going full force. He ain't got the six arms. That's crazy. He can smell his own opening thread now. He could counter attack. He didn't want to fuck with the dog, exactly. I knew he was going to pull back. Split ends real quick. Mmm, whatever it was. Mmm, <laughs> broke the sword. Damn. Mmm, got it though. He did it. It was another sword. Bro, that sword's been in there for over 300 years. That's probably the ultimate legendary sword of fucking Sengoku. Excalibur. Fucking. You feel me? What? That's the Yuch oh. That's the Yorichi Type Zero. That's the real Yorichi Type Zero. Ooh. Right? That's what this shit was called? Yorichi? Yorichi Type Zero. Yep. Yeah, that's the real Type Zero. That sword, son. Mm. Whatever the sword is. Alright. There you have it. Demon Slayer Season 3 Episode 2. Yorichi Type Zero in the books. <sighs> man. You know, man. It's a love-hate for me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Because I already know what they could get into, man. So I know, like, while we go through the, the building stages, it's, you know, it's, it's just got to be like that. I don't mind it, though, because when it gets, when it, when it pops off, this shit going to pop off, man. But I definitely like this episode for what it, for what it brought us, man. It's, you know, it's getting us a little bit closer to, to the answers of, of um, the sun style, the first style and shit like that. 
And then we also got a little reveal into this this sword. Maybe the sword is potentially something. Maybe the sword, the title is the sword's name. Maybe it ain't the doll that's the Yorichi. Maybe this sword is the, the, the Yorichi type zero. So just a little bit more um, potential backstory that they probably going to uh, feed to us throughout this season. How you feeling over there, Bradley? I love it, man. I love it. It's, it's, it's Demon Slayer. You know what I'm saying? It, it's... It do what it do, and what they do is great, in my opinion. This episode was dope, though. Uh, we got to see Chanji, you know, uh, train a little bit, get a little stronger, which is which is always uh, needed in a you know Demon Slayer universe. Fracks. But uh, yeah, man, let's 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 get into it, man, because this one this one <laughs> left us off with a nice little piece at the end there. It did. It did. It very much did. All right, so let's hop into it. Obviously, we got... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the wind, Hashida, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's wind. I'm not sure. But he... he, he yeah, I'm, I'm like 90% there. Like, I'm pretty sure that's wind. But even if he's not, the point that I was going to make is I know he's not a son, Hashida. Right, mm -hmm. so it is interesting to find out that apparently he's a descendant from from these these sun breathers, who is who, who who's apparently the the strongest breathing form of them all because they the ones who started it, like, and every form came off of that. So I think that's pretty interesting, especially since Tanjiro is like, you know, kind of riding them like, dang, this motherfucker younger than me, and he going so hard um, because it seems like anyone who's attached to this sun style shit. Is, is like a prodigy or whatever got something going on for themselves so it kind of got me a little bit more interested in that Hashida now that they didn't said that like because you know what what, what kind of you know what, what kind of what kind of what's his ancestors looking like and 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 is there some potential um you know some potential cross between him and and Tanjiro or maybe even him and Rengoku's people mm. R.I.P. Rengoku um but yeah yeah, new Hashida I, on the scene, complete asshole. What up? Nah, but yeah, it it just goes to show you his, his the way he carries himself. That that man is, he seems in his eyes that he's untouchable. So, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what type of uh, combinations maybe they could form with uh, with each other if they are truly descendants mm. of one another. So. Mm. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait to see him. I mean, we only got to see him, you know, move a little bit here. We didn't even get to see him take off the arm. So, you know, mm -hmm. they, they they saving, they saving. They did spoil a little bit in the intro, but you know, I tried to close my eyes. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, he's yeah. a. He, he, so far, he's a. He's a pretty, pretty dope character. I don't like his attitude. Obviously, the man is just. He just thinks that everybody is pretty much worthless. Which is not the case, you know what I'm saying? You know, you you start from somewhere. You gotta start from somewhere. I'm pretty sure when he was young, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's young. Good. That nigga young. I know. Yeah, he already. He, already he came young. out the womb like. Man, he probably one of the youngest. Like. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. I wouldn't mind knowing the ages of yeah the Hashira, because if he's younger than Tanji, that means he's like, like not even twenty, right? I don't even know how old Tanji is. Tanji, <laughs> Tanji's like, bro. he's like, what, 24 or something like that? I don't Hell know. nah, these niggas 20. about 12, niggas, <laughs> like 14. <laughs> these niggas be out there. Tanji, a grown having... man. You, you heard this? She was trying to approach Tanji like, yo, the secret. I have the but secret. Yeah. <laughs> secret weapon. But yeah, man. That's the Yorichi right there, boy. <laughs> She got that type zero. <laughs> but you know what, though? We haven't... The attitude that he had isn't, like, unfamiliar. We have mm -hmm. kind of seen that from some of the other Hashira. Like, not as bad as him, but they definitely do got a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. I mean, you know, it makes sense. The type of work they got to put in, the type of training they got to go through to even be able to stand to fucking demons. Like, but with, a, with, a, with an attitude like that, do you think he's safe around Nezuko? You know what I'm saying? Because mm. 
you know, she comes out. I mean, and, you know, he, he decides to do what he do. Ain't no stopping this man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we've seen Tangi, though, do some things yeah. when, when yeah. Nezuko was on the line. And we we seen Nezuko do some things when Tangi, though, was on the line. So, ain't no telling what uh, could pop off if the two of them fucking work together. But I don't know, because I, I still think the Hashida are pretty loyal to the master. And even though he's acting all ignorant, like he don't know who Tangi, though, is. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if Nezuko pops out, he'll remember like, oh, okay, these these are these cats. Like, you know, let me let me chill. But I am I, I'm I'm kind of interested though, because one thing the intro didn't spoil was the presence of Inosuke and Zenus Zenitsu. I don't really know if they even gonna be in this season. Like according to the intro, it didn't look like they was really around much. So that'll be kind of crazy if it's really just because they showed Tanjiro for sure. Obviously, they showed the two Hashida that we seen back in the teaser. Um, and then they showed the uh, other the Hashida's little brother who we who we met last episode. Oh, okay. So we at least know all three of them motherfuckers gonna be scrapping this mm-hmm. this season. Um, so that's gonna be interesting because last season we had like <laughs> eight on two. This season, you know, might be a little bit less people, but uh, it'll give us at least more more space to see everybody kind of get it popping. Cause like it's, it is dope to see Inosuke and Zenitsu because. They're pretty much close to like main characters as much as Tanjiro is, yep. for, at least for me at this point. Yeah, but right. we can't always, we can't, we can't give everybody screen time. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if that's what they got to do to let these two Hashida and then the little brother pop off this season, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. But I do love Inosuke and Zenitsu because them niggas bring the comedy, bro. They bring it heavy, son. So yeah, oh, no. we we we. I, I just need to hear a little bit of crying. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, obviously, the, the biggest thing is that sword at the end for me. Mm-hmm. That's just... Mm-hmm. This might be... This might be... This might be it for Tanji, man. He might find the blade that's actually worth having that might, uh, might not break anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because the man either chips or break his swords, and this might be the the one that that holds him down, and might complement his his sun breathing as well. Mm. But I wanna I wanna know like damn, like how much more of the water does he know? Has he been training under that? Like what? he knows all of it. Yeah, I know, but. There isn't more that you should like, you know what I'm saying? No, that's it. No, nah, there's just the ten, the, the ten, ten styles. Okay. Yeah, the ten techniques. Cause remember, uh, uh, fuck. You know we terrible with names, y'all. Um, <laughs> remember, buddy, buddy made his own form, the the form he named after himself. Oh, Rengoku. The other water. Was it Rengoku? Rengoku made his own. He had his own form named after him, right? Wasn't it the water? Dang, I think it was Rengoku. Didn't the water nigga do another one too, though? That was outside of the ten forms. He had did like an eleventh one or some shit. I think so. Yes. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm rewatching it now, so I'll figure it out. But fucking, <laughs> yeah, I think it's just those ten forms, and like whatever, whatever from there, you probably just learn or add on to it. So, mm. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think he's necessarily done with it, but. Shit, you got that sun on your shoulder, boy. What That's the fuck what you need saying. water for, I nigga? Know. You could evaporate the earth, nigga. What you need water for, son? <laughs> like, I guess some of the techniques from the water form definitely could be useful. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So, I think he's going to be combination type. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think he ever going to... Yeah, I don't think he ever just going to stop. Like, But I'm just but, wondering like, what this sword is going to like potentially boost. You know, And I'm thinking it's more on the, on the flame side. Yeah, I wonder what it is in general. Like, what, what, like, because, like, for one, like, how many people have ever even trained against this doll, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, no one's ever broke that shit to know that there's a sword in there. Because obviously, Tanjiro ain't stronger than the Hashida that was just training against it, but all he did was take his arm and then take, and then he actually took that sword too, though. So it's like, it's almost like you could take pieces of this doll as you, you know, destroy it. But Tanji was, was the one who got, it seems like the best prize from this shit. So I wonder why no one else has 
gotten this sword before like maybe was was maybe it's that? just like what buddy said you know I, I don't care if you break it i'll just repair it maybe it's been repaired before and someone left it there recently like it's possible oh no I'm I'm tripping out that there's more backstory to a fucking doll. <laughs> like, hey, what the hell? I mean, but it's a beast. Left that shit. It's a beast doll because it's just it's a replica of the person that's been in his dream. So it's just man, it, how does you know what I'm saying? So it's just like everything is tied together with that that uh rank number one. What's his name? I forget. I forget his name. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga ask me. I'm gonna ask you name. because you don't say you the Demon Slayer. Nigga, that nigga is number one. That's nigga, it. Number one. That nigga is until we get up a Demon right. One. Nah, but damn. yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even necessarily. Well, yeah, like it all definitely ties to the demon, but I would more so say it all ties to the just the sun, the sun breathing, breathing in, in, in general, breathing. like this damn. this technique, like because it. I don't know, bro. It's just so mysterious. Because why does this technique not even... Like, why is it not even popping anymore at all? Like, who was the last sun breather? And, like, why didn't they pass it on? Is it number one? Is number one the last sun breather? And that's why there's no more sun breathers? Like, did Muzin realize, like, nigga, as long as sun breathing's running around, I'm, I'm, at, I'm, I'm at a risk, so I got to convert the last sun breather so no one else could learn this type shit? Like, I think... I don't know. I think that's why that dream was important because it was... I think it was... That was Tanji as a baby. The person who was holding him was his father. And then, you know, they had that conversation about, you know, passing your, your name, your, lin, your lineage. And then maybe he, that's the opportunity he... he you know what I'm saying? He gave him the, the, the birthmark. Transferred it over. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know how it works, motherfucker, but it's got to be what some type. birthmark, nigga? The, the, the freaking, the, the, the thing that grows. In oh, him. that shit that grew after Tanjiro went crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the birthmark. The little flame shit? Yeah, yeah. It, it like, grows okay. in his face and stuff. So, I'm guessing maybe <laughs> that's, like, passed down. And oh, and no, it man. had to be, it, ha it has to be him. Before that he became a over demon. over 300 years old, though. How could that be a, a vision of his dad and him, bro? That's 300 plus years, bro. These niggas ain't vampires. He was a demon. I mean, maybe he's, listen, he's number one. He got to have, he got to be able to do what Muzin does, right? Or, like, close to it, right? He, he can't, like, morph his body, like, into, like, a regular person or some shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even if he could, what's that got to do with Tanjiro's dad's age, nigga? He went to go look for the last sun breathers, fucking, and and it was them. I don't know. I don't know. Nah. I, I don't know, man. But I'm 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 ready. <laughs> I'm ready to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? But nah, for real. We, we here on the weekly, don't man. We on the weekly. They trying to AOT level us with the bullshit nah, confusion. Hell like. no. Not even close. <laughs> Nigga, they brought the key. I thought they was about to look for the basement. Like, yeah. <laughs> AOT is One on second. another level. I got so many questions about that shit. So. <laughs> nah, but I'm definitely I'm I'm digging the direction though. Like, I I didn't think. I don't know. I guess I I, I wasn't I didn't know what to expect with it when Rengoku's dad kind of started talking about the whole sun breathing shit and how all the techniques kind of came from it. I didn't realize it was gonna be that heavy of a. Of a, of a plot point to continue pushing so i like i like that it is though and i like that we already seen number one who who looks like he's attached to that shit we got this sword that we're gonna see next episode like yeah there's just a lot there's a lot going on with this sun stuff so i really want to figure it out i want tanji though to figure it out because that's gonna put him on another level and yeah this is this there's just questions man there's questions we need answers that obviously we gotta have to wait for <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I got anything else. Like outside of just the fun, the funness of the episode, the 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 female crow that didn't popped up. Uh, <laughs> worse than the male crow, man. I'm telling you, that male crow. I think the crow did something dirty to her, man. They was probably dating, and he she probably his BMs or some shit. He left her no child support, so she taking it out on Tangie though because she know that that crow be took giving Tangie his missions and yep. shit like. <laughs> Definitely a passion. But 
<laughs> um, but I'm feeling good though. How you feeling? You got any final thoughts? Want to give it a score? I give it, I'll give it a score. I think this is a is it's an eight. I think it's a a great episode. Definitely, um, Tanji he he got stronger this episode for sure. Started facts, off facts. with the with the wooden sticks and then eventually mm-hmm. graduated to to actual swords, and then defeated the the um the training doll. So. That's just just showing us the progression of Tanji as they always do, in a really fun uh, fun way. I, I really enjoyed that, and then you know we got the nice little, you know, uh, sword at the end. So, just it just gives you <sighs> that much more to like dive into the next episode yeah, to really see yeah. what this sword is about and what what else we're we're gonna get into because we know eventually things are gonna have to turn up here, and hopefully uh, it's soon. You know they are. You know they are, bro. They how they go top entertainment district when they done demolished the whole building with the demon blood art. I mean the whole town with the demon blood art. That shit was crazy. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think eight is that's that right, you know, the sweet spot for the Demon Slayer episodes, you know, gave us exactly what we expect from from this series. Um and a couple of extra a couple of extra questions. Like we said, very interested in what this sun breathing shit got going on. We got these this new sword. Um, so I'm, yeah. Uh, man, I hate weeklies, bruh. All right. All right, man. Eights across the board, man. We ain't gonna hold y'all. We appreciate y'all so much if y'all still here. Rocking with us. Y'all already know. Y'all keep us moving and grooving. Y'all know what to do with these videos. Drop your likes. Make sure you comment down below. Let us know how you feel about this episode. Most importantly, if you enjoy the content here, subscribe to the channel, man. Also, we have full-length reactions, watch-alongs. Bring your own copy. Patreon link down below. F-double-R out. Peace. Peace.